Turn the light on. Okay, the light is on. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to control light and read temperature sensor with Ionic 2 framework. All links to the source code will be available in the description below this video. There is the architecture overview, we will use ESP8266 module with non-MCU firmware, also we will set up MQTT broker mosquito to Raspberry Pi. Finally, we will use Ionic 2 application to control our relay and read a temperature sensor. This is a very simple way to connect a relay and sensor to ESP board. Sensor use GPIO number 5, it connected with yellow wire. Relay use GPIO number 3 and connected with green wire. Both sensor and relay are also connected to 3.3 volts pin and to a ground pin. In order to set up a mosquito we need to add new repository. Then we need to install required package. Before we can use the broker with WebSocket protocol, we must enable it in the Mosquito configuration. Finally, let's restart the Mosquito. In order to connect our ESP board to MQTT broker, we need to create several Lua scripts. First script is init Lua. The main goal of this script is to connect to Wi-Fi station, uh, then connect to MQTT broker, and then run to other script relay Lua and sensor Lua. Uh, also, this file requires credential Lua script. There is an example, uh, this file should contain Wi-Fi seed and password, MQTT broker address and credentials. There is a relay Lua script. It will listen for a specific MQTT topic and switch voltage on GPIO 3 pin. It's a relay data pin. Next is a sensor Lua script. It will run endless loop with 30 seconds delay and publish a temperature related information. Finally, we need to transfer all scripts to the ESP board. Now we can start building a simple Ionic 2 application. There is package JSON file with all project dependencies. We will use Ionic 2 RC1, it's the latest version for now. Also, we will use web MQTT client library. It has API similar to MQTT.js. Uh, let's do a quick overview of our application structure. There is a root module of application. It contains our pages and services declaration. App components TS file contains application navigation button tab. We also have MQTT service. It can help us to handle MQTT connection with broker and subscribe to a specific topic using a callback style. And finally, a main page of application is the home page. We subscribe on a temperature sensor data and can publish value to control a relay.
a small HTML file with uh, data printout and toggle button. In order to build this app for iPhone, we just need to type Ionic Build iOS. Build started. So Xcode project is now ready to build and deploy to a phone. Application started. Sensor data is available. Toggle button works too, great. In order to control light with Siri, we need to expose our relay using HomeKit Bridge. Is a great way to do that is use HapNode.js library. I will show you how to create a bridge uh, and then we will deploy this code to the Raspberry Pi. This small bridge uh, has only two dependencies, HapNode.js and MQTT. We need to create two accessory files, light and uh, a temperature accessory file. First one is set up connection with MQTT broker and listen events from HomeKit library. It can receive light on or light off events. Once event is received, it will publish to MQTT broker and we will receive by ESP board as well. In the temperature sensor accessory file, we subscribe on temperature data updates from ESP site and then expose this data using HomeKit. Also, we will need to create a main file, it will load our accessories and publish the bridge to the local network. Turn the light on. Okay, the light is on. Turn the light off. Okay, the light is off. That's all. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.